on today's video i'm sharing my luxury lipstick collection and i'm giving you tips on how you can start your collection hi guys welcome back to another video um today as i've said before i wanted to share with you guys um obviously some of my luxury lipstick that i am using day after day and obviously I'll, i'm also going to share um how you can actually start to curate a collection for you of your favorite lipstick but before i do that i am gonna show you guys um this clear container which i got off amazon where i keep all my um lipstick this one carries about 22 lipstick um obviously you can get and i've also got a smaller one which you can um which carries about nine lipstick so you can select when you get to amazon i will try and find the link where i got this from or at least a similar link and i will insert it on the description box below um and then you can obviously choose some of them i know you can um put them like on the wall socket but this one stays flat you can either have it like that or you can have it like this so it's up to you now we've got that out of the way um i'm just gonna shoot right ahead and start sharing showing you guys um what lipsticks i do have right i'm gonna start off with the one that i'm wearing which is by mac um it is called the ruby ruby wool and i'm sure a lot of people obviously know about that this lipstick this is one of my favorite as you can see that's the one i'm wearing right now it's a matte finish and i'll be honest with you guys i think when i first started like wearing red lipstick it was this lipstick and i absolutely absolutely love it um in terms of price it is really like um average price and i think it's about I can't remember exactly how much it is, but I will put all the prices down in the description box um, down below. But I do know that this is one of the cheapest that I have in my collection. So if you're looking for something where to start and obviously, or if you don't know where to start with the reds, um, I'll probably really say try the mac and 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 see you know if you like it or not but i'm sure it, it will be your favorite as well i absolutely love this and then also secondly i've got this ted baker uh one which is a lip gloss this is more of a gloss and i got this as a gift from a colleague of mine at first i didn't think i was gonna like it because obviously i'm not a fan of lip glosses because they tend to be very sticky on your lips but with this one um i, I will say that i've tried it applying it mm, I, I wasn't a fan but it did prove me wrong like it stays on your lips i did i, I wore this on christmas day because it, it came around the same time as my christmas present um and I absolutely, absolutely loved it. I don't know if you could buy it like singly, like on its own, because it came with the nail varnish, so it was like a gift pack. But I do like it, and um, I'm sure I'm gonna wear it now, now and again. Um, so that's number two. And then lipstick number three is also another one of my. I'm probably gonna say they're all my favorite. And I don't know if you've noticed the pattern as well. Most of my collection, they all like reds because I prefer reds. Don't ask me why, but I do prefer reds or I wear reds more than any other colors. It's this NAS one, which is called Inappropriated Red. And it's also another red. It's a matte finish. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Um, and also, it, it's my first lipstick from NAS uh, brand. I know they do do a lot of beautiful colors, so do check them out. Um and then on the third one, it is a lipstick by Pat McGrath, which I did an unboxing of this um, video, uh, I think during Vlogmas last year. I will also insert the video for it um, down below the description box if you want to get more details on this one. Love the packaging of this one with the lip logo. And it is also another red shade, but this red shade is more baggy. Um absolutely love it i've worn this a few times and this one is called um elsin um shade 003 if you want to get yourself 
one of these i absolutely love i think her packaging is absolutely absolutely brilliant um okay lipstick number five i'm gonna go with um the one by georgie amani uh which is number 400 and it's called d amani mats it's a rouge um i do apologize if i'm not pronouncing these names right and it is a red it's a matte finish as well i do love my matte finish so this is also a matte finish um I've been wearing this for a while now. I think it's in one of my collections for 2019, which again, I will put the link below if you want to see my favorite collection for 2019 lipstick. Um, yeah, that's number five lipstick, which I love, or it's part of my collection. I do love all of them, if I may say. So I'm going to keep saying love, love, because I love all of them. And then the next one is by Christian Dior. Um which is part of their rouge collection and it is a red it's a matte finish but it's got that tint of gloss in it and this came as a obviously as a, a pack when i bought them but this is the one that i mainly sort of like wear most of the time or i tend to go towards to um with the your packages for their lipstick they're very sort of like luxurious, you know, a bit of glam there and all sorts. Yeah. So that's lipstick number six. And then the next one um, that I'm going to show you guys is a lipstick by MS, which is also was part of my Vlogmas unboxing. I got this last year, Christmas. Out of all the lipsticks, I think the packaging for this one is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's also a matte finish. Red. This one has an undertone of almost like an orange undertone. Um, I don't know if you could see it clear compared to the one that I'm wearing right now. And it is by MS Brand. And it is shade number 64, which is called Casa Q. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I do love this. I think that the favorite or the favorite thing I like about this one is when you're applying. Oh my God, it is so, so luxurious on your lips. I just absolutely, absolutely love it. And then the next lipstick that I am going to show you guys is the one by tom ford um which is called uh it's number 35 and the shade is called sonia absolutely absolutely love this it's it's got also like a sheen to it as well if you put it but even though it it it's got a, that sheer kind of um shine to it which you can clearly see you know after applying it that it's got that sheer but i do love it i tend to wear this one more often like at night when i'm going out uh, not that i've been anywhere in the past year but that's more like my go-to night um kind of like lipstick and i do love tom ford packages you know with his t and um, tf um logo this one is gold and obviously with the white absolutely love it and then the next one, again, I'm going to show you. It's another one by Tom Ford, which is called uh, Bella. This is shade number 35. Again, it's a red, which also have a little bit sheer in it. Um, it's, it's very rich when you put it on the lips, this one. Again, I tend to wear this one um, when I do, like when I go out, as I've said, like the the first one. So these two are more on, obviously, for, you know, nighttime going out because of their sheer kind of like um, finish. And then next one is another one by Christian Dior, which is called, oh, I can't even see this properly. Right, this Right, the, the next few ones I'm going to show you guys, they're all by Christian Dio. They were part of, remember when I told you about this one, that I bought them in a pack. They were all part of that pack. Um, obviously, with these, they're more like your sample sizes, which I will show you. They're all different. But the whole idea is this is the case, how they come in. And then you can actually, once they finish, you can take this out and then replace it with whichever lipstick you're using at the time. But because they're all different shades, I will show you guys. Yeah. 
So going back to what we're saying, so this is another one by Dio, which is part of that, which is also red. It's part of that package of their um, Rouge collection. And this one is shade 999, okay? Which I believe, um, yeah, it's shade 999. And then as part of that package, when I bought them, there was two, four, five more that came out. Uh, the difference, how you know which one is which, underneath they all have different coats, which I'm going to go through with you guys um, now. So this one is code number um, 80, which the name is called Red Smile. So, which is another red. I haven't worn this one. Um, it's by Dior. I absolutely, absolutely love it. Like, oh, the smell something about dior lipstick right so that's shade number 80 and then off the same pack we also have shade number i think i've spoken about this one which is 999 so number three on the pack is feel good which is shade 520 this one has a almost like a pink undertone in it it's not so much as a red so it's got a little bit of pink in it and it's got a little bit of sheer and it's called feel good um number 520 and then number four on the same pack is called promenade the the shade number is 434 and it is a nude color i haven't worn this because i do not wear a lot of nude colors but if there is the reason i kept it or i've put it on this um selection is because if there was a nude this is the type of nude that i will go for it's almost like um very very light um nude in shade you know sometimes you get darker nudes and then you get light shades so that that's a nude and it's called promenade right next one on there is another nude i believe or another um shade which is a nude definitely and it's shade 772 it's called classic matte this is a matte finish nude if i compare the two nudes you will see what i mean this the other one this one has a sheen finish to it this one is a matte finish you can actually just see the two different sort of like um textures out of the two and they both nudes both by dior right and then one last one that i'm going to share with you guys is it's not on here hang on let me go get it found it it's the one by christian lambertin which i also got it around christmas and i think i did the unboxing for vlogmas so this is if you've missed it obviously i'm going to show you guys this is what it looks like obviously in the packaging very extra very mr lumbertine um and then i'm just going to show you what the shade of the lipstick looks like it is a red i've worn this a few times again also it's got an undertone of orange in it you can see compared to the one that i'm wearing now that they're not really the same um and the smell guys on this one absolutely absolutely if you haven't seen obviously my unboxing talking about this lipstick um do check it out the link is down below and yeah that's all my lipstick my luxury lipstick now let's get into tips on how to start your um high-end lipstick collection first of all i'm gonna say that there's nothing wrong with obviously using drugstore lipstick or anything like that for me personally i prefer to use luxury or high-end lipstick because of obviously what you get um you get not just more for your money but the ingredients that are used on these lipstick they tend to be more better when you're wearing them they tend to last longer on your lips and the pigmentation as well tends to be obviously um better than the ones you get from the drugstore that is obviously what i'm gonna say in terms of why i buy luxury um sort of like high-end lipstick so tip number one they do cost a lot of money so i will say before you even start your collection go about to obviously stores like your debenhams your john lewis if you're in south africa your um, red square edgars or any other similar stores that um, sells high-end lipstick 
and ask them to try the samples first of all you need to decide on the color of the lipstick that you want if you like me and you like certain shades it's even become easy because then you can get samples um obviously of those lipsticks the one thing that um, I was once told by um, the girls who work at the Tom Ford counter in Cardiff, where I've had previously had some samples from them. People that sell these luxury lipstick, they're not going to tell you they've got samples. They keep them for certain people or if you spend certain amount of money, you will then get one or two samples. They are there, I'm telling you, because I've experienced it myself. So go and get these samples, try them on. It's very hard these days, obviously, with all this corona going on, that you're going to want to try a lipstick that's been tried by somebody else. But a lot of the luxury brands, what they do is they, they have a brush that they use. So you can, you have, obviously, you will have your um, lipstick and then you have like a, a brush which they change, you know, they give you a fresh one um, every time you try or they you know sanitize it and then you can just try it so go and try before you spend your hard in cash right that's tip number one once you know then um what is it that you're after wait for sales there's nothing wrong with waiting for sales especially if you're buying online um self -reges, they sometimes send codes like emails for um 20 percent off or if you want to wait and start it around Christmas time, there's always loads of like sort of like sales and deals going on. And tip number three, buy in bulk. Certain brands like your Dior, you saw my sort of like my five kind of like thing, um, different shades of Dior um, lipstick. Those when I bought it. They worked up much cheaper than me having to obviously buy them individually. So if you can buy them in bulk, buy them in bulk because you'll be getting more for your money. So if they're doing, keep your eyes obviously online and in store. Sometimes there'll be like trio of Dior lipstick or of these brands. Not obviously all the brands will do that, but a majority of these luxurious brands, they will do something like that where maybe the lipstick will come like in a bag, in a nice sort of like makeup bag. And then you 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 not you don't just get the bag, but you also get three or four different shades of lipstick. So that's tip number three. And then tip number four, it's easy and simple as saving up for it. Okay, find the shade that you want and then put aside some few cents until you eventually get to the price that you want to buy and a lot of time these luxury brands when you buy something i know i've been there to buy um let's say skincare and i'll ask them do you have anything on promotion they will tell you if there's promotion so that's how i like started to breed, to build up my collection and then there are brands like um ms which chances of them going on sale or getting a deal are very very slim because obviously they've got a certain market that they're targeting with something like that that's where you're gonna have to make a decision and obviously just save up for it depending how much you want the lipstick or not so yeah those are my tips for starting your own luxury high-end lipstick collection so i hope this video was very helpful for you and obviously if you're watching it it's because you want to start buying your luxury lipstick and if you have liked the video please do like comment share and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys on my next video bye